Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over third-party sites that you can download STL files from, put them into your slicing program, and then go ahead and start printing. Um, the reason I am making this video is because I know there's a lot of new people out there um, that have uh, printed their first demo print which is either on the SD card or the program that came with their printers and now they're looking for certain other things to print and maybe they just don't know where to get it from and this is also for people that are new to 3d designing maybe they're working on their own models and they just haven't perfected that art yet and what they're trying to do is just in the meanwhile print some random stuff that they need so these are some of the sites I'm gonna go over with you today and um, show you how to use them, what to look for, things like that. Uh, before I get started guys, just uh, FYI, um, I'm new to the 3D printing world as you guys know. Um, I've only had mine for about a month and a half. One thing I did realize, and uh, after talking to a few people, it was brought to my attention, which is true. Uh, when people get their 3D printers for the first time, they tend to print random stuff that they will never ever use um, either it just sits on a shelf or they throw in a basket or things like that so if you're actually going to take the time and use your material and you know go through the slicing software program print stuff that you need um, for example uh, when i first got my print printer i printed maybe about 10 15 things that i'm never going to use but after that i printed a docking station uh, for my iphone with the iWatch charger, um, my brother requested a vape station for himself. Um, you know, and I'm bu building props to put up display as it displays in my game room. So print stuff that you're going to use. If not, I mean, just go have fun with it. It is what it is. I tell people 3D printing is uh, kind of like a drug. It doesn't matter what you print as long as you're using, right? <laughs> so uh, with that said, let's get started, guys. The first one... Uh, most of you will be familiar with it is called Thingiverse. Uh, this is a very very popular website um, Great website in my opinion uh, The only downside to this website is a lot of people upload a lot of files um, That might not be Ready for printing there might be a little bit of corruption in there. And I don't mean virus what I mean by imperfections That's the word so basically when you try to print it, uh, it might not print perfect and you might think it's your printer or things like that, but it's actually not. Uh, it's basically just some people upload the files or where the files come from. Um, it's not perfect files to be printing because there's so many people that upload on this site. So what I'm going to do is show you one way to avoid that. Um, I'm going to type in Destiny because that is the game that I play most of the time. But for example, uh, this one right here. Let's go ahead and click on this particular uh, model. If you notice, these are the 3D printing files, the STL files. But how do I know if this is a good one to get? Well, this gentleman took a picture of it and he actually shows you a end product. Also, if you click here, it shows you the actual video of the product. So this is a good one I'd probably print out. Um, also, let's try this one. This one has no uh, pictures or anything like that, so I'd probably stay away from that one. This one, if you notice, there are pictures. So this is what it's going to come out to. So I know it's a trusted file. I'm not going to have any issues with it or things like that. So that's basically how I would recommend to look for stuff on this site. Um, one thing is you don't want to, unless you want to download all the files, you click here. But I usually go down here and see what files are offered. And I click and go through each one and see what parts there are. Because sometimes there are a copy of parts that they put on there. Let's say, for example, um, like if, if you're printing an action figure, they'll say arm piece one, arm piece one modified, arm piece two. So you might not need all three to print. So just go through it, and then if you just click here, it will download for you. Uh, the second one is going to be Pinshape. This is a very popular site as well. Um, again, you just go right up here and search for what you need. And then they have their trending models down here, featured models up here. 
Uh, for example, Star Wars Death Trooper. Just click on it. You can take a closer look at the pictures. And if you like it, you can go ahead and just download it for free. Or if that's what you know you want from the first page, you just click download right there. Okay. The next one is going to be the Autodesk 123D.com. This site is actually pretty cool. Um, the only thing is on some of the stuff, it's um, it's random. It's very random stuff on here, uh, which is one of the reasons I like it. Now, this is a completely free site uh, for downloading STL L files, but keep in mind, in return, it requires an upload as well. Well, not requires. Sorry, I shouldn't say requires. But, uh, for example, if I go here and click on this Batman action figure, I can uh, take a look at it, do the 3D uh, view of it. There's no comments on this one, so I'll just click download right here. Um, so you got to sign in to download on this site. Um, also, just to FYI, I don't know if I went over it or not, but most of these sites that you're going to be using, some places you can download for free. Most of them require a sign in or login. Just go ahead and sign up because it's just required and it's free and they don't send you any junk mail or anything like that it's just they just want to know I guess what you people or what users are downloading what type of content for research purpose I really don't know to be honest but just log into them it doesn't cost you anything there's no gimmick on it so just do that but that's how you basically use the Autodesk 123 uh, this one I always have name trouble with this name is uh, Yegi I think it's pronounced this one is actually pretty cool. This is not a, a, a site per se, but um, this is a search engine. So I go up here, right, and I type in, let's say, Mario. I'm going to type in Mario. This is going to bring me a result of all Mario type uh, things that I can print. But if you notice here, this is from Thingverse. Thingverse. This is from Pinshape. Thingverse, Thingverse, Pinshape. It just brings up all the sites. See right here, this is a different site, and it's free. It brings up all the sites that you can go and download from. So basically, that search brings up everything related to that product from multiple sites, and then you just click on it, and this will take me to Thingiverse, even though I was on a different site right now. Okay, so I do like this just because it is a search engine for three D prints, which is kind of cool. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting when when I first ran into it. Uh, next one, we're going to go to Grabcade. Now, this is a very interesting site because this is more on the technical side, more on, on the engineering side. Uh, for example, you can go on here, print bolts, nuts, sprockets, motors, engines, and then build just a bunch of damn parts and put them together and have it functional and working and things like that. So this is a very cool site for like engineering students or or people that are very just into building stuff like model cars or boats or you know things like that so this is a pretty cool site I do like it uh, there is also cults3d.com now again this one uh, this site works a little bit different compared to other sites once you actually find something uh, that you want um, now keep in mind on this site there are certain things that they do charge for if you want it but there is a lot of free content on here as well like for example baby Groot is for free um, this skull melting skull is for free but if you wanted this robot or whatever you would pay 250 this Paul plants would be 129 um, the way this works is once you pick the model and you hit download it actually puts it in a cart for you like let's say if you're shopping or whatever um, and then when you proceed to download, it's going to ask you to log in. So that's why I said most of these sites require a username and login. Now, it is free, so it won't cost you anything, so it's pretty good. Just be careful. Certain sites do have uh, some things for sale and some are for free. So you can still use them. Just download all the free stuff. Um, now, there's two more sites that I'll go over. This one I really like because I... I use this site mainly for educational purposes with my daughter and things like that this is from the Smithsonian Museum 
what they do is some of the artwork uh, or artifacts they've uh, they've had they actually scan it so you can download it I think it's mainly meant for uh, like education and things like that but if you go to browse models it's good you know these are just some of the models down here um, me and my daughter we go through this site and We've printed a few things on here, and uh, she's taking it to show and tell at school, or we'll sit at home and learn about it. We'll Google it, research it, um, and just go from there. This is very interesting. Actually, this is the thing that we uh, printed that she took to school, and everybody was amazed with it. So you have the woolly, I guess the woolly mammoth. Yep, woolly mammoth uh, model of what the skeleton looks like. And you can study all that and just go from there and you can just download this particular model if you wanted to then go from there but there's other ones here there's download button there um, and I've used this site I have printed from it and the qualities are pretty good um, it's it's amazing so if they're interested in the first um, plane by the Wright brothers or uh, antique weaponry or you know uh, whatever it might be, this is very educational. Good resource if if you have kids, um, you can go with them uh, through the site, pick what they want, something that interests them, and learn about it. We try to do one every two weeks or so, or three weeks or so. So it works out. It's pretty good. I like it. Uh, and then the last site that I'm gonna go over is my favorite site. This is the mini my mini factory. Um, the reason I like this site more than the others is I've noticed that most of the files on here are in pretty good shape to where you can just download and print. Um, but it's always a good idea, guys, if you download any STL files from any sites, to run it through a help repair program such as Mess Mixer or FabNet, uh, things like that. Now, I'm still getting familiar with those, and once I figure it out, I'll make a video about that. But for right now, um, I can walk you through like a 30 second tutorial on how to do that but that's not really gonna help you much at this point but anyways this one is probably my all-time favorite site as of right now I has a lot of destiny content like I said that's something that's very interesting to me I've printed uh, this figurine here this one here um, currently working on downloading other things like the sword and actually this sword here and this site's pretty cool so for example I just click on this again on this one it has pictures so it's already I know how it is it's already printed you just click right here to download the objective um, and it downloads it for you now just keep in mind from this side one thing I did notice there are one or two files that I ran into I personally use Kira's slicing software so when I go into that um, it won't let me when I click on open the file it won't let me pick the file but I can drag the file into Cura itself so it does still print that way um, but that's about it guys these are my top sites that I use um, like I said just find stuff that interests you to, and print those don't just randomly print stuff because eventually you're gonna get to a point and just look around you're gonna be filled with 3d prints in your room and you're gonna be like oh my god what the hell happened um, that and keep in mind not all, all STL files will come out great so sometimes you might think oh no there's something wrong with my machine it's not level or it's too hot because I'm getting stringing and bubbling and this and that but it's actually some prints are just not perfect actually most prints are not perfect so uh, just keep an eye out for that uh, that's basically it for today guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this video I hope to help somebody out with this um, I make all my videos based on my point of view as far as being new and what questions I have and that I need help with so I research it and make it and it hopefully helps you guys out um, thank you for watching and happy printing guys enjoy yourself if you like this video give us a like and subscribe to our channel bye